Hello everyone, now today let's talk about the 74LS138 IC which is a decoder IC and obviously before studying any IC you need to know the truth table behind it so it is a it is a truth table for 328 line decoder which is which is basically in the IC 74LS138 so if we say 3 then if you say we have 3 inputs then how many outputs will you have for decoder then it is nothing but 2 raised to 3 that is 8 in outputs and same way it will be 2 2 2 raised to 2 that is 4 so 2 to 4 line decoder and so on you know according to it you can do it so these are the inputs and these are the outputs as i told you there will be 3 inputs and there are 8 outputs lining from 0 to d7 so it, the truth table is pretty easy so if you see the decimal value of this thing is 0 so that's why d0 will get i don't want to say selected but yeah d0 will get 1 and the others will be 0 as it as it is there will be 0 the truth value or the decimal value i should say is 1 so d1 will get 1 now and otherwise everyone else will be 0 and the same way over here the decimal value of this is yeah this is 2 i thought this is 2 this is 1 actually so this will value of this is 2 so d2 will get 1 now and otherwise everyone else will get 0 and i don't know to explain the rest part you know that so if this is 3 then d3 is getting selected then d4 d5 d6 and d7 according to the value so this is 7 that's why d7 is 1 and otherwise everyone else is 0 and you know the drill now so this was about the 3 is to 8 line decoder but now the ic is a bit different actually we'll have to discuss the pin inputs pin configuration of this ic so you know what is VCC, we are just going to connect VCC to a source VCC, 5 volt, whatever it is. And these are the enables and these are the inputs. So remember over here, if you are having say A, B and C and A is your MSB. So in, suppose your inputs are A, B and C and you want A to be MSB, then MSB will be connected to C. Over here C is a MSB. So that's why you, it's kind of opposite that you are connecting A to C, B to B and C to A, but it is opposite. So that's why just remember this, that this is MSB and this is LSB. In this case, that's why your MSB A should be connected to C and C should be connected to LSB that is A. Fine. Now ground you know obviously what ground is, you will just connect it to ground that is 0 voltage. And after that these three are known as enables. So enable pins. So what is this negation symbol? By this symbol what do they mean is it is active low. So enable, what is the meaning of enable? Enable means whenever the IC is enabled, then the output will be whatever the input is, means the configuration and so on, it will depend. But if the IC is disabled, that at that time, the output is always going to be zero. You do anything, the output is going to be zero. But in this case, so this is actually easy. So the enable, obviously, you will have to enable it. So to enable it, you will just connect it to VCC, right? So if this is connected to VCC over in this way, then it, that it means that the IC is enabled. But these two are also an uh, important part. So but these are negation. By this negation, what do they mean is it is active low. So active low means when you connect them to zero, then it will get enabled. But if you connect them to 1, then it will get disabled. So if you connect this to 1, then it will get disab disabled. That is, you don't have to connect this to VCC. So you don't have to do that. So just a cross. But you will have to connect them to 0. So if you connect both of these to 0, then, so see, actually, this is active high. That's why if this is connected to VCC, that means it is enabled. This is connected to 0, so it is enabled. This is connected to 0, so it is enabled. And simultaneously, all these three conditions should be satisfying. If any one of them, so suppose even if this G2A is connected to VCC, then IC will stop working, that is, it will be disabled. So simultaneously, all these three should be working. So this is 1, this is 0, and this is 0 for the IC to work. Otherwise, the output is going to be 0, you do anything. And this is ground. And the outputs, you know, you'll just connect them to probes or whatever, or you, if you are implementing full adder, full subtractor, then you'll do, use some NAND gates and so on. Why NAND gates? And because you can see this bubble symbol as well. This this is nothing but active low. So what does this mean? If the output is 1 now, so you suppose you have connected LED over here. So if the output is 1 now, but because of this bubble, that is it is a naught. So it is inverted. So actually this will be 0 if the output is 1 and it will be 1 if the output is Sorry, if it, it will glow actually, I should say that. So if this is glowing, that means the output is zero. It is opposite. So if this is not glowing, then the output is zero. And the same way, all these things are same, similar. So you can do one thing, you can just connect these all to a NOT gate. That is, you will just invert the output so that you get the output correctly. So if you connect it to a uh, NOT gate, then it will stop glowing if the input output is zero and it will glow if the output is one and so on. So this was about the, you know, Pin com configuration. Now let us talk about the true table. So this is nothing but, but really easy actually. We are just going to add some enables because the rest of the true table is simply the same. So enable means as I told you all, if these two are connected to 1. So if this is 1 or this is 1, then the output will be 0. But as I told you all, the output is different, right? Inverted. That's why this is 1 right now. But the output is actually 0 according to the true table that we know. And in the same way, if this is 0, 
that is if this is not connected to one then the output is going to be zero that is the ic is disabled so this is the, these three are the cases where ic is disabled so ic is not working over here but for them all of them to work i told you this should be zero this should be zero and this should be one which is this case that is 0, 0 and 1. So these are the cases where the IC is going to work. So that's why you are getting outputs over here and which are right outputs. So as I told you all the value of 0, this thing is 0, decimal value is 0. So D0 line will get 0, sorry 1, D0 will get 1 and otherwise everyone will get 0. These are the opposites because as I told you they are inverted outputs so that's why they are 1. And the same way 1 for 1, y1 will be selected, y2, y3 and so on, you know the drill now. So now let us go to multisim and implement this decoder so that we understand what is happening. So let us go to place, component, you can go to all groups or you can go to TTL family. Instead of just go to all group and just search for the IC. The IC name is 74LS138 for this decoder, 3 is to decoder. So there are these, these ICs as well but see in this IC, if you see closely, VCC and ground is not there. It is not there, actually it is there, but it is just hidden, that's why it is not there. So instead of that you can simply select this because you can see where VCC and ground is. That is also fine if you use that, but just there you cannot see the VCC and ground. But basically you don't have to connect them, it is already connected for you. So you don't have to worry about it. Now let us connect some simple components like VCC and ground. So you can just search for VCC, place it over here, place, search for ground, place it over there and some easy things these are easy things and we need probes and digital for switches now instead of switch you can just go to sources and then go to digital sources and you can see this digital hold on yeah just go to component then digital source and interactive digital constant so if you select this you'll you'll get this thing but i'll do one thing i'll you can do some changes to it so just double click on it and you can first of all go to label suppose i want the value of this to be a go to display you don't want labels you don't want these you want the reference define whatever it is called just select it okay you just, you'll just get a and you can do one thing you can flip it clockwise so that it looks a bit nice i'll just copy it and paste it to get b and c as the input lines so i'll just change its name that is ref this whatever its full form is i don't know that actually so this is c now fine and as i told you you'll connect them in opposite way so c is lsb so you'll connect c to a and b to b and a to c and in this case i told you all g1 should be connected to zero so will be G2, negation G2 actually, and so will be ground be connected to 0. Fine, and this should be connected to VCC, which is really easy thing to do. And VCC will be obviously connected to VCC. Now you have to connect some probes. But before connecting some probes to getting for getting the output, you will have to use the NOT gate so that you know if the output is right or wrong. If you don't connect NOT gate, then it means that the output is opposite. But for now, let us say we want the output to be right, right, according to the truth table. So first of all, you can select a uh, NOT gate IC. You can say, use IC, but I am simply using the NOT gate block so that I don't waste my time in connecting ICs and all. You can, you don't want the U2 and all, so just go to this thing and just uncheck all these values so that everything goes out and you just get a simply blank NOT gate. I'll just copy them and paste them. Now let us place some probes. So just go to component, you can go to all groups and you can connect a digital LED plate or whatever you want but I am collecting, con sorry, connecting probes for the sake of simplicity. So you can rename this uh, this as well. So I think it was Y1 if I am not wrong. So Y0, so it should start from Y0 and you want just Y0 to be displayed. So just uncheck all these values as we did before. Fine, and you simply copy that and remember for copying any component if you are simulating the circuit then it will not get copied that is if this is playing then it will not get copied you have to stop the simulation and then only you can do this thing copy and paste that is control c control v now simply connect y0 and y1 and y2 and all of these things to the probe that you are having so y0 to y0 y1 y1 to y1 by using a not gate Now if you see I use this IC not get actually if I don't want it you can simply right click it and delete it but instead of that you can just left click and just press the delete key on your keyboard. I love shortcuts so this was just a shortcut to know. Now let us check the two table. So if this is 0 obviously this the decimal value of this is 0 so y0 will get 1 otherwise everyone is 0. If this is 1 so decimal value is 1 that means y1 is getting 1 otherwise everyone is 0. If this is 3 now, so decimal value is 3, then y3 is getting selected. If this is 7 now, then y7 will be 1, otherwise everyone will be 0. And you have true table, you need to verify it and so on. So that's all from my side. You can subscribe to our channel for more programming related content, any electronics related content. That's all. Thank you.